I'm much more into electronica or even chill step music. It's easy to code to. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Do your line again. Hey, uh, 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 nice coat. Don't you wonder why there's a pile of fresh dirt in the backyard? Looks a lot like a grave to me. Who'd Madison and Ashley kill, I wonder? What'd you say about asses? Something's gonna happen with an ass. I mean, you can't really deny that. My dad once tried to sell an ancient Native American water holder he found in our backyard on the Antiques Highway. Hey, dude. How's it hanging? What you got for me? And please don't say it's some kind of business opportunity. Those always end up being pyramid schemes to sell scented candles or some shit. What, like of you? <laughs> you think just because I'm an adult actress, you can just make it rain with pictures of your dick? Damn it. I really thought Rachel would have made cooler friends than this. No, no, sorry, um, Ms. Vixen. Sorry, I'm Ashley. You don't know me, but I was listening in and I thought I should, um, clarify. What my friend here was trying to say is that he has pictures of a lovely woman in various risque poses and that you may, like, find some use of these photos. Miss Vixen. Mm, I like the ring of that. You know, I might have to tell my agent to get me in the teacher's pet franchise so I can ride this fantasy all the way to the bank. So, are you trying to contribute to my personal spank bank, or do you want me to grade the poses out of 10, or...? Yes, that's what we want. We'd like you to see if the model who's worked on getting these poses right for, like, ever would be able to make it in, um, the adult actressing world. Sweetie, you can say it. The porn industry. You want to know if the chick could be a porn star, so show me. Wait, this is Madison, isn't it? Keep your voice down. We're putting her out there because she's too shy to do it on her own. Well, that's going to be a problem right off the bat, if she's too shy. But there are good poses here, good attitude, and definitely a good body. You know, there's a whole market for that hidden camera kind of stuff. All willful participants, but it's made to look, you know, fly on the wall. I said I think she's got the body. I've never seen her go heels to Jesus. Never seen her make the bacon. Anybody? Either of you two picking up what I'm saying? I've never seen her fuck. We get it. We literally got what you were saying, like, right away. So if we can set up an audition of sorts, then you'll see what Madison's got and maybe recommend her to your porn overseers? My agents? We don't have overseers. I don't live in some dystopian bow and arrow young adult novel universe, obviously. I thought the fact that my tits are on the internet would give that away. But yeah, if we can set things up to where I can watch her in action, then I'll take a few videos and get in touch with the right people. Sound good? Yes. The answer is definitely yes. We'll get it all set up and let you know when we're good to go. Just do me a favor, Ms. Vixen, and don't mention this to anybody. Hey, I'm just here to fuck with Rachel. I don't even know most of these people. Over and out, homies. There it is. How simple is that? We just gotta get Madison to bang the night away, and we'll have Vicky pass along her audition tape to her agents. Now, who can we get her to hook up with? Well, this party isn't exactly a sausage fest. We're related to Patrick, so that rules him out. Only Frank and Derek. Hmm. Anybody fucking tries, and they'll be dead before their fingers touch the bottle. but honestly, I couldn't really understand them through his tears, but I'm pretty sure he was telling me anything goes. <laughs> when I was in the garage, I saw the coolest little penguin bra just chilling in there. I stared deep into his eyes, and I think he shared a vision of himself with me. He was posing majestically on a small plateau. Under Yo, you see how Steph stepped up to help Amy? 
She doesn't even know that chick. Pretty cool of her. All right, shoot. He was casting furious judgment. I, I think it means something. Come on, Derek. Be a fucking man about it. Oh, shit, man. Sorry, my head's been all over the place lately. You can say that again. We've been kicking it since high school, man. Can you believe that? High school. Yeah, it's definitely an undefined amount of time ago. What with us trying to appeal to a large audience in between the ages of 18 and 35, crazy times back then, whenever that might have been. Man, we gotta catch up when you get a chance. I've been telling all my friends about our crazy days. At this point, they probably know our famous stories just as well as you and I do. Hey, if you ever find yourself twiddling your thumbs, grab a couple of beers and come get me. We'll take a walk down memory lane. <laughs> More like a drunken stumble down Mistake Avenue. I just hope you still remember all the good times we used to have. After that summer you spent as a ball sweeper at the batting cages, dude, you took so many baseballs to the cranium that we were all surprised you graduated. But there you were, rolling across the stage in that wheelchair of yours that you only had to use for like six months tops, and you barely ever drool anymore. Well, let's keep it that way. I saw you talking to Frank earlier, but you better watch yourself at all times. Frank's crafty, and he's got a way of taking good brains and making them all contused and shit. And his uh, protege Leia, her too. I'd steer clear if I were you. All right, man? I'll see you soon. Spanish class. My teacher has been totally out to get me since I accidentally called him Gordo instead of- Hey, how's it going? I actually don't know her all that well anymore. We were friends from school for a while, but we kind of drifted apart. She's been dropping hints that she wants me to invite my friend Vicky to the party. And I think that's why she invited me. Come to think of it, how do you know Madison? I don't think I've seen you around before. How did you even get invited to this party? I suppose that makes sense. Three concussions from trying to dance all night and spontaneously passing out. Don't look at me all judgy like that. Except... Yeah, Except maybe I mean, that this Catherine shit face is pretty much normal for her. I like the way she operates. There's nothing wrong with her. She's a fucking giant bitch to everybody. <laughs> it's sexy shit, though. You know where the bathroom is? I got a shit. What's your nickname? They call me... Uh, Frank. Well... Not like all about them. I don't know them intimately or anything. Or him. H how would I? You. I. Uh, that's just nuts. It was a good turning point for me because I never drank again. I did manage to get a deep throat badge out of the whole thing. Ah! That's not how we express anger, man. One time I hit my sister in an act of retaliation and she cried. So do any of you speak Spanish? Like, at all? Ugh, whatever, just please rate me good online. Tutoring's a good gig and I can't go back to being a booth babe. Come on, Derek. Be a fucking man about it. Oh, sh Super careful that I don't spend it and end up blowing another random stranger for a ride home. Home again. That night sucked. Confidence, Brittany. Just own that shit. But also the future, because it hasn't really taken off just yet. I can't remember the last time I partied. You don't have a penis? Tonight is so much fun. What are we doing? How goes our little operation? But I just want to keep on dancing and not think about adulting and responsibilities. So it's our prank now. I think not. At best, you're my prank protege. Really? I never would have thought, but Madison never talks to me about guys. How do you know? Shit, this is perfect. 
so we need to get them upstairs into an intimate situation, all while making sure we've got Vicky upstairs, too. Damn, I should do this prank shit professionally. Okay, so I can get Vicky into position, but you'll need to take care of the heavy lifting, getting the two of them upstairs. Vicky and I are going to wait for your signal, and then we'll run upstairs and hide in Madison's closet. You've got to try to get up there too before Madison and Derek. You should be a part of this monumental moment. Um, I want you to rip your shirt off in the middle of the party. Show me a taste of what I can look forward to if this goes right. All right, see you soon. I have all the faith of the world in you, you little matchmaker. And break. <laughs> I'd seriously kill for a smoke of something right now. I have weak knees! Wait, wait. Patrick's our cousin, not our manager. Who told you that he was our manager? What would he even be managing? On the glory hole out in the wild, it's like finding the fountain of youth. Except the fountain is dick-shaped and it's only youthful because you're probably in a YMCA locker room. Hey dude, how's it hanging? Hey dude, how's it hanging? If you thought his face was red, you should have seen mine when I realized that my mom sharpened my name. I'm a motherfucking ass beat. Now D&D &D is hip and shit. Oh, I just hate bugs. The only thing worse than bugs are spiders and scorpions. I used to die all the time. A bit of pube deforestation would be doing that whole continent a favor. <laughs> oh, you're kidding me, right? I knew you were my soulmate. Hey, dude, how's it hanging? I'm not sitting in this hard ass chair, pinching my massive meat clappers together for no reason. I just don't have a specific reason right now. Hey again, how's it going? Bottle. I gotta remember the still game. That chocolate upstairs is probably office. for the first time. Is anybody gonna eat that? The host of the party usually provides I would love to bust some moves out on the dance floor. It's total garbage and it needs to end. Anybody who knows me knows my sister and I don't get along. Tell me I'm prettier than her if you want to make my day. I've made many a friend in this new territory, but my voluptuous memories have stood out among the locals. I know I should be I proud of my husband. I can survive over a week without food and water, depending on how often I masturbate, obviously. I think there's a water suppository in there somewhere. You can never tell. Dad once Native American water holder he found in our backyard on the Antiques Highway Tour. They locked him out of the convention center because it was actually a... It was a kung fu fighting. Hey, how's it going, buddy? What? You must be out of your mind, man. Me and Madison, we're just friends. Just friends. All right, all right. What are you, some kind of beautiful mind? How'd you figure that out? Doesn't matter. Just keep that info between you and me. Things are kind of awkward between us right now because of it. No, not kind of awkward, like really, really awkward. I know, man. I'm just trying to work up the courage. I thought the alcohol would do the trick, but of course, fucking Frank had to ruin it. This really sucks. I want to fix it so bad. As we speak, Madison's hiding out from me because we accidentally made eye contact earlier. I guess you don't watch the news. It's Maurice. He got caught with fucking meth, dude. Can you believe that shit? It's almost unreal. You know my little brother. He doesn't fuck with that shit. Or so I thought, I'm going to fucking kill whoever sold to him, whoever got him involved in that nasty poison. You do that? Man, you're a true friend. All right, for you, I'll try to iron out the whole Madison situation. Though between you and me, I can't say it won't end up in the same place as last time, if you know what I mean. But if that's the worst case, thanks, man. I'll go find her. What's this? 
Some kind of pump-up tactic? Cause it's working. Dude, you're looking good. I'll make sure to honor your devotion to physical fitness by making things right with Mads. Hell yeah! Woo! I'm doing this. But hey, I could use your support. Just be outside when I approach her. It'll mean a lot to me. Money down to play some spin the brothel? Nothing kicks a party into overdrive. Like a little bit of mouth-on-mouth -mouth action. You know what I'm saying? Why, yes, I am a business genius. Wait, isn't that what you asked me? I'll be the first to say it. Hey again, are you lost? that Madison only owns one song. Are we in the same kind of simulation and licensing restrictions that have kept our overlords from accessing all songs? Hey again, are you lost? It's only a matter of time before it gets so immersive that it'll look and feel just like real life. When I die, I want them to preserve my brain for VR, just like in that Tom Cruise movie, so I can bang Penelope Cruz over and over again. Please ring me good online. Two days later, I can't jump in the booth, baby. To this day, oh, I love spicy food. It ain't worth it if it ain't got that kick. Uh, speaking of which, you never had anything too spicy before getting there. Actually, Stephanie, I think you are dancing topless in all of them. It's weird. Like, if this were a video game and your goal was to see her tits, she'd be the way to go. Um, no are you kidding me? Hey, Mother, that's like the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. I really don't know how to unpack that, so I'm just gonna say, cool. While I was upstairs, I kept hearing this weird hissing sound every now and then. Then I closed the eye, but I just couldn't pinpoint it, almost as if it was in the walls. Ambient oh, dialogue is what hurts. Please, please, I don't go to Chuck and Jim working. The last thing I have to do from a shopless bar and grill is recognizing the face of Dr. Bates. Oh, I just hate the moss. The only thing worse than bugs are spiders and scorpions. I used to see them all the time back home, and I just ruin my day every time. Ugh. Um. <laughs> Madison. Derek, uh, hey. I hope you're having a good time. I mean, I hope everyone is having a good time, you know. Just a party. <laughs> Nothing special about it. Mads, I'm sick of this. Come upstairs and talk to me. Oh, yeah, definitely. No problem. I'm sure Ashley can play host for a while, wherever she is. Come on, let's talk in my room. These are the items you have to get in a sorority scavenger hunt? That's Bush League shit. You made it! Get in and close those doors! Quick, quick, quick! Because I was trying 
find where gold balls are written. Brittany, I'm so glad you're coming back. I feel like we never get to hang out anymore. Yeah, last time it was just the two of us having a night on the town. We ended up making out until the sunrise. Look, I'm sorry if things have... <laughs> We'd never do something like that sober. No more apologies. We're great friends, and I'm not saying I want anything more. I know you're not looking for anything more either. But we don't have to keep tiptoeing around each other for the rest of the night, or for the rest of our fucking lives. I want to go back to how it was before, but maybe with a bit more. Are you saying, like, friends with... Benefits, two big ones. Oh my god, I can't tell you how much I agree. Just as long as things don't get weird, promise me it won't. I fucking promise. Now let's try this new arrangement out, right here, right now. Satisfying the host in the middle of her party? Such a good friend you are, Derek. Follow me, pal. Holy shit, I know that tone of voice well. Ashley, get down so I can see. They're about to get randy as fuck. I'm talking face down, ass up. That's the way I like to... Shh, don't ruin this before it's even started. Vicky, get your camera on record. You, open one of the doors lightly when you think they'll be too busy to notice. Only one. <sighs> <sighs> Asking me about school, it's going fine. Tonight is so much fun. I really needed this. My mom keeps saying I need to think about my future. But who is going to keep on dancing and not talk about adulting and responsibilities like ever? Oh, I have rather particular tastes though. I like a little of new shag, but I also like a little bit of loud and perfect. I guess it's just a little bit of variety. Well, the variety is the spice of life. Mmm, these two are intense. I'm really into it. My agents are gonna love this shit. Love it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Vicky, hurry up and send that. I don't know if we can count on Derek's stamina to last much longer. I'll send it after the grand finale. Haven't you ever seen a porno before, Ash? God, does anybody have an electric toothbrush or something? I'm really riding this wake, if you know what I mean. I'll dance anywhere. Inside, outside, doesn't matter to me. Oh, oh my god, Derek, you're so fucking big. Uh, I'd love to do this all night, but I gotta get back downstairs quick. I'll hurry up. Just let me get my imagination running. Pamela Anderson in that Baywatch swimsuit. The Geico insurance lady making out with my high school algebra teacher. Oprah Winfrey! Yeah! Oh, fuck, D. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Trooper, I'd say this is our chance to jump out and tell them what a show they put on. Open those doors wide. Dude, what are you... What's everyone doing here? Hey, sis. I never knew you had so much talent. Derek, you too, stud. Well done. Ashley, this is a great example of why you're not allowed in here. Wait, why does Vicky have her phone out? Were you filming us? I'm trying to dance all night and spontaneously passing out. 
Yeah, Matt. I thought, you know, since you're like such a brazen, beautiful soul, you'd want to show everyone what you got. Everything of what you've got. So we had Vicky film your little encounter. She loved your skills so much, she sent it on to her agent. You know, her porn agent. Wait, Madison didn't know? Madison, you did want to audition for my talent agency, right? Ashley, this is way too far. I don't want to do porn. Yeah, what's wrong with porn? Hey, are you guys in here talking about Oprah Winfrey? She's an idol of, whoa, cuz, put some clothes on. Derek, nice hog bra. Wait, were you guys, holy fuck, this is too good. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed, out of my way. Everybody get out of here. Just go back downstairs and enjoy the party or something. <laughs> oh, well done. Come with me. It's time for my prank protege to learn his final lesson from his very, very impressed master. Hey, dude. How's it hanging? Prank accomplished. God, did you see Madison's face? Last test before I rise you from the pranks of protege. Come and remove your master's sandals that have been like absolutely killing her all fucking night. Come, come. Oh, and make sure the door's shut. Queen of the you might as well give up now. Wow. Bitch. It's not my fault that kid got arrested. I only supply. You don't arrest the jockey when the horse dies from an overdose of a combination of cocaine and Alka-Seltzer. At least, they didn't in the case of my cousin, Little Corbin. I'm just saying, if I... Wow, slipped right off. You know, I have another particular garment that also just slips right off. Oops, would you look at that? Hmm, what do you think I should do about that? Oh, I think you're right about that. Looks like you've already started to disrobe on your own. Keep it going. Right, I think that's a good idea. Wow, like, wow, good times were had. God, what a fucking night, right? I'm gonna go back downstairs and revel in my victory. I'm gonna ride this high all night. Let me know if you're up for another victory lap. Hey again, how's it going? What's up? You having a good time? That means you actually have to meet somebody now. That penguin keeps eyeing me, man. I don't know what that's about. I keep getting this really weird feeling tonight, like I've never been here before. It's kind of hard to explain. Almost like I've seen these exact scenarios play out with slightly different outcomes. Oh, I just want everything to run smoothly tonight and for everybody to get along. Really? You want to place a wager on that? <laughs> I love making bets. Probably a byproduct of having so much disposable income at such a young age. The porn industry really pays, you know. Hey, dude, how's it hanging? The mix of people here is interesting, to say the least. Like at all? Ugh, whatever. Just the fire is so pretty. Let me look and see. 
Oh god, okay. This one won't be so easy. I need a pair of women's panties. They can't be mine, and they must actually come off of somebody. Good luck with this one. Oh my god, I can't believe you actually did it! I am freaking out right now. Who actually gave you their panties? Actually, never mind. I don't want to know. I am nailing this scavenger hunt, so that's all that matters. Gotta keep my eyes on the prize. The fire is so pretty. Hmm, let's see what I have left that I haven't done. Ugh, I don't know. The tasks kind of get really perverse now that I'm down to the last few. I really want to get into the sorority, but I'm not sure if it's worth degrading myself. What do you think? You're right. Fuck it. I honestly could probably benefit from stepping a little outside my comfort zone. And to be completely honest, some of this stuff kind of turns me on. I wonder if you drove here or... The fire is so pretty. Hmm. So it looks like the next few are actually pictures I need to take on my phone. First up, I need a picture of somebody wearing the American flag in some way, shape, or form. This drug is pretty much normal for Patrick. There's nothing wrong with him. Well, not clinically speaking, at least. He's just a lucky bastard who struck gold by peddling nudes on the internet at the right time. He wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for my freaking aunt riding me and Madison's asses about it all the time. Dude, Teddy Clubs are the bomb. I could spend the rest of my life watching naked hot chicks dance, and the buffets are also really good. When Frankie's Fuck Around Club becomes a sweet, sweet reality, I'll be covered in sexy- Hey, what the hell? That is not how you make friends, dude. You're supposed to ask them questions about their feelings. Hey, what the hell? That is not how you make friends, dude. You're supposed to ask them questions about their feelings. Hey, what the hell? 